Daryl Peel has been traveling around Oklahoma. Daryl, how is the situation looking for winter wheat and grazing prospects this year? You know, it, Oklahoma is extremely green for this time of the year. It's really uh, quite amazing. Uh, a lot of the wheat has already been planted and a lot of it is up. Some of it is up very nicely. So I think we're gonna have some early grazing um, this fall. It looks really good. Some folks are fighting some armyworm issues uh, and that's, that's always a challenge. Uh, but uh, it seems that producers are well on top of that this year. So uh, we're getting lots of wheat pasture and other forage is growing well too for this late season. Let's talk about the economics now of winter grazing. How is that shaping up? You know, the budgets I've run recently looking at uh, winter grazing really look pretty attractive. Um, uh, now we've seen some, some changes in this, uh, you know, stocker market from a buying standpoint, but, but even with the uh, higher prices the last week or two, the budgets still seem pretty good. The futures market for spring uh, for, for feeder futures is offering an opportunity to lock in a margin. It's probably something that producers ought to take a look at. Let's talk about feeder cattle prices a little bit and are they kind of following those seasonal patterns that we see this time of year? Well, you know, uh, September is kind of a question mark in Oklahoma. The average seasonal pattern would be for, for feeder prices to drop from August to September to an October low for, for the lighter weight calves especially. We're really not seeing that right now and it can happen sometimes. When we do have a lot of stocker demand develop early, Sometimes the demand is a little bit ahead of the supply uh, of fall calves that are gonna come to town over the next four to six weeks. And so uh, what we're seeing is these prices have actually gone up a little bit. I don't expect them to go up a lot more, but it may mean that we won't see the normal kind of decline as we go into October. It, it may be more muted this year or more sideways. What kind of guidance are you giving for uh, stocker cattle buyers and sellers? Well, you know, from a, from a buying standpoint, of course, a lot of stocker buyers are, are looking for that October low. And I guess, you know, given what I just said, we may not see as much of that opportunity. Uh, that said, again, the budget still look pretty attractive. So um, you can wait a little uh, if, if you want, but I'm not sure it's gonna get a lot better than it is now. It might get some better here in another three or four weeks. From a seller standpoint, of course, uh, if you normally wean and sell in October, um, you know, we may not see the normal kind of seasonal low. These prices have held up pretty well. So, um, you know, on, uh, with, with, with the uh, late fall forage growth that we've had, some of these guys may actually be pushing off that uh, weaning date a little bit. And, th and there may be an opportunity for these markets to actually uh, start to pick back up a little bit after that. Okay, we'll keep us posted. <laughs> All right.